Hello, good night. Hello. Hello. So we are going to uh, wait like a minute for the people that is um, entering the session. Vamos a esperar un momento para que se puedan conectar la mayoría. But we are going to start very soon. Vamos a comenzar eh, pronto, pronto, pronto. Ok. <clears throat> I'm trying to put my cell phone. Right. Ok. <laughs> ok. There's only two of us right now. Or not? Mm. Let me see. There are ideas. I think. I think like sixteen, fifteen, maybe forty, fourteen. I think. Okay. okay. We are going to start right now. Vamos a comenzar. Um, first thing, we are going to see something in our screen. So I am going to share my screen with you. Okay. The first thing that we have here is a phrase. I will share uh, phrases like this with you every uh, week. Voy a estar compartiendo este tipo de frases eh, con ustedes todos los inicios de semana. No todos los días, okay. todos los inicios de semana, because I want you <clears throat> to be very, very motivated to learn. Um, it says, the best way to predict the future is to create it. La mejor manera o el mejor camino para predecir el futuro es creándolo. So now we are going to create our future. The first thing that we are going to uh, do in this place is to introduce myself. That is the first thing. Then we are going to hear your presentation. But in this case, I am the first one. So my name is Elena Chavarria and I am in charge of this course. So we are going to uh, work uh, through these four weeks uh, and we are going to try to create more information and help you to understand better these kind of topics. So it is a pleasure to be here working with you. So if you have some questions and if you need help with your, um, your assignments in the platform, you can ask for help. And also in the session, you can ask me if you have some uh, troubles with the sentences or uh, the, um, the homeworks that you have in the platform. Así que si ustedes tienen dudas, preguntas y cosas así sobre la plataforma y sobre los temas que se van a impartir um, durante estas semanas, um, ustedes pueden preguntar. Let me see. I have something here. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. It's a pleasure to be here. And that's I good. hope that we can <laughs> learn more about English. Oh, that's good. And we are going to try to create more information. But wait, I know that you want to uh, present yourself or introduce yourself. But wait, wait, wait. We are a step by a step. And that's very good because at this time, I know that is something tiring. But that's good. Oh, nice to meet you, Henry. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have like an agenda. Tenemos como una agenda. Let me change this because I will make like a mess with this information. So we have like an agenda that we are going to uh, follow for these kind of uh, sessions. So wait, let me see. I have two more. Nice to meet you, Matias, and nice to meet you, Jocelyn. So. Thank you. You're welcome. So we have the agenda and we have some uh, specific things that we are going to um, develop in this session, number one. So 
The first thing is to introduce ourselves to this course. Nos vamos a adentrar en el curso. Vamos a saber cuáles son los temas que vamos a desarrollar y los objetivos de estos temas. ¿Para qué nos van a servir a nosotros? Then we are going to listen a conversation. We are going to begin with a conversation that we are going to listen. And then we are going to introduce ourselves. In that moment, you are going to introduce yourself, telling me your name and some information that you want to share with us in this uh, session. Then we are going to have the topic number two because we are going to develop two topics. Um, the first thing, let me see. What is the first topic that we are going to say? It's how to introduce yourself. ¿Cómo nos vamos a presentar? That is the thing. I know that this is something, you can say this is something very basic. I know that is something very basic. But we need to um, talk about these topics uh, when we are like, Mm, beginning this kind of a uh, session because now you are pre-intermediate and after that you are going to be intermediate in in that moment it's when you are going to produce you are going to um, talk about the things that you have learned ustedes van a llegar a ese momento en el que van a reproducir ¿verdad? todo lo que han aprendido so The objective for this topic. In this lesson, participants will learn how to introduce themselves and others by listening to a conversation between two people who just meet and are introducing each other. Vamos a escuchar esa conversación donde tenemos a dos personas que se acaban de conocer. Vamos a ver qué tipo de información dan estas personas y qué tipo de preguntas hacen. So let's see, I have here the uh, link in that uh, space. So let's see, I need to, I don't know if I am, um, let me stop this because we need some time to wait because it is not working. So let me see, here we are. This conversation, you will find it in the platform. Esta, esta conversación ustedes la van a encontrar en la plataforma también. So we are going to pay attention to this conversation and then we are going to, to uh, say something about this uh, conversation. We are going to hear it twice. Lo vamos a escuchar dos veces. So let me share the screen again with the audio. Here. Hello, I'm David Garza. I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks. So is Brazil. Oh, good. Son He is here. Who's Son He? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Okay, we are going to hear it one more time. And then we are going to talk about this a conversation and the questions and also some phrases that we are going to use. So let me see. <clears throat> Mexico. Oh, I love, call me Beth. Okay, where are you from? I'm a new club member. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Okay, where are you from, Beth? Brazil, how about you? I'm from Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks, so is Brazil. Oh, good, Sun He is here. 
Whose son he? She's my classmate. We're in the same math class. Where's she from? Korea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. How do you spell that? G-A-R-Z-A. -A. Okay, we have that conversation between two people that uh, are in a party. They are a boy and a girl, and he is the first person to talk. Él es la primera persona que habló. So he said, hello, I'm David Garza. I am a new club member. Esa es la presentación que él hizo. Hello, I'm David Garza. I am a new club member. Soy David Garza y soy un nuevo miembro del club. It's a very, very simple presentation. And then she uh, responds to that presentation and she said, Hi, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Ella le da su nombre, pero también le da eh, la manera en que le gusta que la llamen. Yeah, my name is Elizabeth Silva, but please call me Beth. Where are you from? That's another question that we can ask when we are meeting people in this case. We are from the same country, but we can also ask about the places. Where are you from? Oh, I am from San Salvador, or I am from San Miguel, or I am from Usulutan, that is my case. Um, then um, he said, she said, Brazil. How about you? I'm from Mexico. Ella es de Brasil, él es de México. Oh, I love Mexico. It's really beautiful. Thanks, so is Brazil. In that case, he is saying that Brazil is bastante bonito. Luego van a presentar a otra persona, solo que en la conversación no, se, no la tenemos esa parte, pero es importante. Oh, good. Son, he is here. Who is Sanhi? ¿Quién es Sanhi? She is my classmate. Ella presentó a Sanhi sin tenerla de frente, pero le dijo a él quién era ella. She is my classmate. We are in the same math class. Where is she from? ¿De dónde es ella? Korea, de Corea. Let's go and say hello. Sorry, what's your last name again? Otra pregunta para eh, hablar de información. ¿Cuál es tu apellido? What is, the, what is your last name again? Garcia? Actually, it's Garza. Actually, it's Garza. Él le responde con información, ¿verdad? How do you spell that? En ese caso, pues obviamente ustedes saben que con nombres eh, internacionales siempre tenemos que pedir confirmación de eh, cómo se deletrea. So, in this case, how do you spell that? ¿Cómo se deletrea? G-A-R-Z-A, -A, Garza. Él deletrea su nombre. So, let's uh, come back to the document. Oh, another thing that I want to say is that, I don't know if this is new for you. No lo sé si es nuevo, si ya han trabajado de esta forma. But I like to work in this kind of documents. Me gusta mucho trabajar con este tipo de documentos because I can explain better the information. Because in this case, I will write all the information that you are going to learn. And you can see how to create sentences, the structures, how to write the words, and practice reading and listening. No voy a traer presentaciones de PowerPoint or something like that because I prefer this kind of documents in which I can um, add the information by myself. I'm going to type all the information in the moment. Voy a ir agregando la información en el momento para que ustedes puedan ir escuchando la explicación y viendo la información en el documento. Also, I will share this information with you. All the information that I have, I will share with you at the end of the week. Todos los jueves yo les voy a... But in this case, it is not necessary to send um, the link 
all the last days of the week. No es necesario que le vaya mandando todas las semanas el enlace. Le voy a compartir el enlace in this document because it is in Google Docs. So you can uh, have this document in your um, in your drive. Van a tener este documento en drive. Eh, ustedes lo pueden revisar en el momento que ustedes quieran. Y cada maybe Friday or Saturday or Sunday, I don't know, van a poder revisar los objetivos de los siguientes temas. Because I will work in the same document for all the topics. Así que ustedes van a revisar la información que ya vieron en la semana, pero pueden ir revisando también los, obje los objetivos de los siguientes eh, temas. So you will have um, complete access for this information. So I think it's better because you are not going to download all the documents because it's kind of heavy to have four documents, like 13, 14, maybe 15 pages. A veces de 50 páginas por los ejemplos, por, los, por las tablas, eh, por cosas así son bastante pesados. Entonces, ya no van a necesitar descargarlo, lo van a tener a, a la mano, ¿verdad? En, en su drive. So, that's the information that I will have to give to you. So, now, After that a conversation, we have some questions and we have some information that we need to, to clarify first. When we are meeting someone, we need basic information. Remember, basic information. We need to know the name, in some cases, the places, uh, if they are studying or working, And in some cases, we need to know the age. That is not something very common. No es muy común preguntar la edad porque a muchas personas no les gusta dar la edad. Pero la podemos agregar en la información cuando nos estamos presentando. Eh, algo que sí podemos hacer a la hora de introduce ourselves is to give like something that, that that we really really like for example maybe my the things that i like to do in my free time if i have free time um like uh, watching tv series reading books um singing dancing uh, playing soccer all of the things we can add that information why because In that moment, it's like to break the, that moment in which we feel very nervous. Porque cuando nos presentamos con alguien nuevo, nos sentimos muy nerviosos. Entonces, al introducir este tipo de información, podemos empezar nosotros. Oh, I like that. Uh, what is your favorite TV show, for example? Oh, I like that TV show. And, y pueden crear una eh, conversación más fluida. Uh, something that is really, I, I, I hear something about that. Escuché algo por ahí donde decían que era bueno crear una lista de cosas que nos gustaban para compartir con las personas que nos estamos conociendo para ver si tenemos como eh, gustos afines. And maybe it's good uh, to share that kind of information with people. So maybe we can create good friends in that moment. So. Now, we are going to the first exercise, like we have in the document. Exercise number one, introduce ourselves. Nos vamos a presentar, pero no lo vamos a hacer así como normalmente lo hacemos, eh, like in the school, for example. Like, oh, my name is, no. We are going to do it, maybe feeling good, telling that information. We are going to just say one name. It is not necessary to say the whole name. Uh, we are going to use the name that we like the most because I know that we have one name that we like the most. Tenemos siempre un nombre que nos gusta más que el otro. Así que vamos a utilizar siempre ese nombre que nos gusta más. Si tenemos un nombre o oh, un uh, surname, como un sobrenombre, que nos gusta que nos llamen, por ejemplo, así como en el caso de la conversación que a ella le gustaba que le dijeran Beth, 
Um, lo podemos decir. My name is, for example, my name is Elena and I like to, people call me Elena or you can tell me Elena. Um, I am a teacher. In my, it's my, my job. I am a teacher. I'm working with uh, children in the first grade. Um, I really like to read in my free time. I like to watch series like horror series, psychological horror, maybe. Um, also, I like to watch anime. And I have a dog. And what else? Mm, I think that is enough. <laughs> that is enough information. So you can have something like this. So think about your presentation. Piensen sobre la información que quieren dar. And then we are going to hear all of you because we are 11 participants and you are 10. So 10 people is going to talk. Think about your information and then when you are ready, you can tell me I want to speak or I can choose for you. Si ustedes quieren hablar, ustedes me dicen yo quiero pasar primero, si no, yo lo voy a escoger muy democráticamente y voy a decir tú, tú y tú, okay? So, I will give you one minute to think about your information. So, time is running. Okay, I think we are ready. Vamos a ver. Who wants to be the first one? ¿Quién quiere ser el primero o la primera? Mm, okay, I will choose. Vamos a escoger. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The last or the first? Last or the first? We are going to begin with... Matias. Okay. <clears throat> night everyone my name is matias everyone everyone call me matias i live in a puerto de la libertad i live near the beach with 
which it makes it makes easy for me to go um, in my leisure time. I like going to the beach, um, to the cinema, um, or I like to go to the park and enjoy nature. I am 37 years old and I'm happy to be part of this course and I'm ready to learn a lot from everyone who all part of this course. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, next one. Let's see. Matias, I will give you this moment to choose one of your partners to be the next one. You can choose. Okay. I choose Edwin Montejo. Okay, Edwin. Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Edwin Montejo, but you can call me Montejo. I'm 31 years old. I'm a mechatronic technician, and I've been working for Ternova Group for two years. And I'm a lover of American football and soccer too, Formula One. I don't have any pet because I don't like it. Um, I'm really happy to be here. As Matias said about that, we are here to learn about to everyone. So that's all. Okay, thank you. And nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay. Edwin, who is the next one? Um, Jose Rigoberto Alvarenga. Jose Rigoberto, it's your time. Okay, I know you, you have this. Hey, hi, everybody. My name is Rigoberto. Uh, I have 41 years old. Uh, 41 years old. Uh, I like... Uh, the, my friends call me Rigo. I marriage. I have uh, two pretty kids and work in the printing plastics in the best company of El Salvador. How I know? Because I work in the five of these best companies of the item. And uh, I don't like pets like my, my buddy uh, Montejo. Uh, because I don't know, uh, I'm very happy to be part of that, of the team. Thanks. Okay, thanks to you and nice to meet you. Okay, Jose Rigoberto, who is the next one? It's not a personal, it's Abel Antonio Villela. Okay, <laughs> Abel, it's your time. Hello, my name is Abel Antonio. Uh, I work in the Ternova. I like, I watch TV, a movie, the action. Uh, I had 31 year old. My favorite food is chicken. I sport football, soccer. And I am, I working and very respectful. Hey, that's good. Thank you. Hey, nice to meet you. Abel, who is the next person to present or introduce themselves? Catherine. Catherine. Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening. Uh, my first name is Gabriela. I live in San Salvador. My favorite hobby is dancing and reading. 
am 22 years old. Okay, that's good. Thank you. And nice to meet you, Gabriela, because you say that your first name is Gabriela. So, who is the next one? You can choose. Um, Denise Rodas. Denise, 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 it's your time. Hello. Hello. My, my name is Denise. You can tell me them. I live in Mexicano. I work in Internova. Uh, I am a player. My favorite food is chicken. My favorite is play soccer, play video games. Uh, go. That's good. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Who is the next one, Denise? Henry Boston. Henry, Henry, is your time? Hello. Hello. Good, Good evening, everyone. Hello, my name is Henry Armando Muson Velasquez. I, I like to be hired Henry. My favorite hobby is to play the guitar with my dad. I live in Salco City. I like pupusas. I am 23 years old. I work, I work in a company called Thermo Encogibles. Hey, a hero friend. And I love you here. Only teacher. That's good. Thank you. And nice to meet you, Henry. Who is the next one? Who is the next one? Victor. Victor. Hi. Hello. Uh, my name is Victor Manuel. Do you lie under the pizza? I am from Cojotepe. Uh, uh, to play soccer. Uh, I lie on the beat. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you. Who is the next one? ¿Quién es el siguiente o la siguiente? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Herrera. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, my name is Jocelyn Gabriela. I like people call me Gabby. And I like read books and listen to music in my free time. I like dogs and I have one. And I'm so excited to continue learning English. Okay, nice. I don't know if someone is missing. No sé si alguien falta. Sí. I think it is not. Creo que ya están todos, ¿verdad? Falta Abel Jeremías, si no me equivoco. Ah, Abel Jeremías. Abel. Hi. Hello. Hi, everyone. Uh, okay, my name is Jeremías Herrera. Uh, I, you can tell me Jeremías. I have three children. I am 28 years old. And I live in Salco. And I I am working at Ternova and I like it. And only only that. Okay, good. So nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, I think that is everyone uh, has its time to talk about itself or themselves. Creo que ya todos están, ¿verdad? No nos faltó nadie más. 
Creo que son todos. Ya están todos. Ok. So, nice to meet you, everyone, again. Uh, it's a pleasure to be working with a group like this. Um, I think it will be very, very good because um, you have a really good conversation. Tienen muy buena conversación, ¿verdad? Solo vamos a ir poniendo los puntos, ¿verdad? Que tal vez tenemos un poco de, de dudas. Lo vamos a ir mejorando. For that uh, reason, you are very, very good. So we are going to continue with these uh, um, topics. So now we are going to see the number two that is related to the number one. Vamos a continuar con el tema dos que tiene mucho que ver con lo de las presentaciones. Topic two, possessive adjectives. We are going to talk about um, some structures, uh, something about grammar. And now we are going to talk about the possessive adjectives and it sets the objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to understand and use possessive adjectives, my, your, his, her, its, our, and their. In order to introduce their names and to express opinions. So in this case, the possessive um, adjectives, uh, we are going to use it to say our names when we are introducing ourselves and also to express our opinion. So let's remember the conversation, this one. We have this conversation in which we can see these examples of adjectives, or in this case, the uh, possessive adjectives. Where we can find these uh, sentences? In the first one, when it says, um, let's see, my name is Elizabeth Silva. My name, mi nombre. In that case, we are using these um, possessive adjectives. My name. Then we have another one. Mm, my classmate. She is my classmate. Es mi compañera. She is my classmate. Mm, let's say, in that case, we have just two examples. My name and she is my classmate. But now we are going to see all the possessive adjectives. So I need to move from this to this one. And I will create, I think, a table in which I will, um, let me see, like this one. It's not working. So I need one, two, three, and like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus one, nine, like this. So in this case, we are going to use to write the possessive adjectives. Why we need this table here? Because we need to write the subject. Then we are going to write the object. And then we are going to write the possessive adjective. Okay. We have the subject. Who is the subject? Easy. The subject is the person that performs the action. Is the person that is doing something. Because you know that the actions are the verbs. The verbs are the action. And who performed the actions? The subject. So we have this subject. This is just like a review. Esto es como recordar. Solo vamos a ir recordando porque ya lo sabemos. Pero it's necessary to remember. So we have I, you, he, she, it, we, again, you for the plural, and they, I think it's complete. Yes. What is the object? It says, the object is me or I. For you is, again, you. For he is him. 
for she is her, for it, again, it, we, us, you, and them. Now, the possessive adjective. I, me, my. You, you, your. He, him, his. She, her, and again, her. It, it, it's. We, us, our. You, you, again, your. Yours. And then, they, them, and their. Okay. In this so table, really, tell me. Um, and positive adjective is mine. Yes, mine. My. My. But, but you wrote mine. Me, an object. An adjective. It's mine. Mine or mine? My. My, my. Oh, no, okay. mine. My. Okay. Okay, in this case, what we are talking about the possessive adjective, because it's talking about uh, something that I have. But we are going to see um, the uses. Vamos a ver los usos eh, para eh, estos eh, adjectives. Si sí tenemos el mine, pero para decir, ¿verdad? Eso es mío. Pero en este caso, como estamos utilizando los adjetivos, no para... Eh, how can I say? In that case, it's like making a possession, o sea, para demostrar la posesión de las cosas y en este caso del nombre. And mine, we are going to use it in a different uh, uh, way. So in this case, we are going to focus just in this one that we are going to create sentences with this. So, we're uh, saying that we have the subject, que es la persona que realiza la acción. Then we have the object, el, ob el objeto. Que tenemos para yo es me, que nos referimos a nosotros mismos igual. You, tú, he, him, él. Pero nos estamos refiriendo, por ejemplo, cuando yo hablo, I am talking and I said, Mm, who is him? O oh, who is he? Him. Cuando hablamos de him, de he, cuando estamos hablando de otra persona y nos referimos a él, luego a ella y así. And the possessive adjective is my, mío, your, tuyo, his, de él, o sea, que pertenece a él, a ella, de Un animal, en este caso, it's our, nuestro, your, tuyo, their, de ellos. So, what are the uses? ¿Cuáles son los usos de este uh, possessive adjectives? Uses. And we have one, two, and three. Tenemos tres usos. Let's see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. In this case, I have it like this. Okay. Use number one, to show something belongs to somebody. To show something para mostrar que algo le pertenece a alguien. And we have the example, but I want to write it like this, okay. We have two examples. That's my, I mean, that's our car. And the next one, my car is very old. That's our car, es nuestro carro. And the next one, my car is very old. Mi carro es bastante viejo. Then we have, the second one. I don't like it. Okay. This one. 
Second one, for relationship and friends. And we have the example. My mother is a doctor. My mother is a doctor. And how old is your sister? How old is your sister? La edad. Estamos preguntando la edad de la hermana de alguien, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. And then we have number three. And it says, for parts of the body. Parts of the body. And we have the examples. And it says the number one. He's broken his arm. He is broken his arm. Next one, she is washing her hair. And the last one, I need to clean my teeth. I need to clean my teeth. So we have three uses. So in this case, we have the number one, that is to show something belongs to somebody. Cuando queremos mostrar que algo le pertenece a alguien, vamos a utilizar los eh, positive adjectives. We also have the possessive pronouns, um, but in this case, it is not like. Uh, we are talking about the possessive pronouns. We are just uh, talking about uh, the possessive adjectives. And maybe it can be kind of confusing um, because we have these two. But we are going to make um, something to clarify this. For example, the possessive pronouns um, is a pronoun that is used to express ownership or possession. Again, tiene que ver con el pertenecer, ¿verdad? Um, but in that case, that the possessive adjectives um, Talk about also the possession of something, but also it's talking about, are you going to go with me? Uh-huh. It's like using the the, the object of the um of this kind of a possessive. But in that case, and in the case that we are going to use the possessive um pronouns. Cuando vamos a hablar de estos posesivos, eh, si ustedes se fijan, los pronombres posesivos solo es para demostrar la posesión de algo. Pero en este caso, are you going to go, to go with me? Vas a ir conmigo. No le estoy mostrando posesión. Pero le estoy diciendo, vas a ir conmigo. Pero eh, si queremos mostrar posesión, mmm, we are going to the restaurant that is mine. Y utilizaríamos un pronombre posesivo. That is mine, que es mío, que me pertenece. O we are going to my restaurant. Vamos a ir a mi restaurante. <coughs> that is an a possessive adjective. The possessive pronouns are singular, son singulares. If they only refers to only one person of thing. Singular possessive pronouns include my, yours, hers, his, its, theirs. Esos son los pronombres posesivos. Mine, no my. Mine, yours, con S, hers, with S at the end, his, like these ones, its, and theirs, with S. 
But in the possessive pronouns, we have a for the plurals. Hello. The hours. Hours with S. Yours mm -hmm. and they. Yours, ours. Mm -hmm. That's that's the the thing. But in this case, that the uh, possessive adjectives, you can see we have three uses, or <clears throat> possession of something. Uh, for parts of the body and for family and friends or relationship. But in that case, uh, we don't have that uh, change in the plural or singular. That's the difference between them. So in this case, the possessive uh, pronouns have plural and singular. And it's to make something about possession. But in this case, the possessive adjectives are neutral we can say are neutral and don't have the singular and plural we can add s to these ones and we have three uh, three uses for this so let's see so in this case uh, when we are using this kind of adjectives let's see we are going to develop part by part in this case to show something belongs to somebody. Another example that we can create in this um, category is, mm, you have my cell phone. You have my, mío, estoy hablando de algo que me pertenece. My cell phone. That is, my computer. Mm. So we have another one and we are going to uh, use another one of these. And she is his sister. Ella es su hermana. ¿De quién? De él. Something that we need to note in this, um, in this, a space. Let me mark this one. Mm -hmm. I have here. Let me do it in yellow. This one. It and its. In this case, when we are talking about possession, we are going to use this structure. It's. I-T-S. Esas tres van juntas. No van separadas por apóstrofe ni nada. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos hablando de la posesión de it. Algo que le pertenece a eso o a ello. Pero si nosotros lo llegáramos a usar like this, it's this one. In red. I think it's, that's okay to see. If we write it like this, it is not like talking about possession. It is, it is or it has but no the possession of it. So we need to be very careful when we are going to write this kind of sentences using it's, the possession of it. Because we can make this kind of um, changes in the words, maybe because the um, cell phone make us to change some words. So in that case, we need to be very, very uh, focused on that a style or writing. So in the next one, for relationship and friends, I think, let me see. This house is mine. Uh huh. But in that case, it's from the possessive uh, pronouns. This house is mine. Es, es un adjetivo, uh, I mean, es un posesivo, un pronombre posesivo. Not an uh, adjective. So, in that case, the example that we have uh, in that in the first one, we can use it in this. Uh, he is her friend. Es su amigo de quién? De ella. Um, your dad. Is very angry. Papá está bastante enojado o molesto. 
Mm, our dad is a teacher. Es un maestro. So, what are the parts of the body? I need to wash my hair. Mm -hmm. You need to clean your hands. Okay, so remember that it's kind of uh, confusing in this case, pero recuerden que tenemos más que todo esta parte. The object is not like the main part of this topic. Recuerden que tenemos los possessive adjectives that are not the same with the possessive uh, pronoun. Estos más que todo los vamos a utilizar cuando queremos hablar, ¿verdad? De eh, algo que nos pertenece. Sí, es cierto, lo utilizamos con los possessive eh, pronouns, pero en este caso es más que todo eh, para objetos, eh, personas y partes del de cuerpo. Y la otra, pues solo es para mostrar posesión y plurales singulares y todo eso. So, it, it is not the case that we are going to use that. So, we are going to end this uh, session here. If you uh, start working on the platform and have some troubles, you can ask for help uh, because it is necessary that you begin to work in the platform right now. I, I, I mean, I'm not talking right in this moment, but I'm talking about it this week. So, uh, hay que comenzar a trabajar en la plataforma para que no nos quedemos sin tiempo al final y no tengamos problemas para generar nuestro diploma. Si tienen problemas, dudas o consultas sobre el trabajo de la plataforma, you can ask for help. So, we are going to see each other tomorrow. We are going to end the session here. Uh, remember that we are going from 9 to 10 every day, but not Friday. So, we have four days. So. Tomorrow we are going to talk about another topics. Uh, I will send to you this information the last day of this week. So it was a pleasure to be here today. So we are going to see each other tomorrow. Have a really good night. Tengan una muy bonita noche. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Have a good night too. Thank good you. Night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow.